A new Galaxy tablet, a free Nexus tablet, plus a crap load of app news. All that and more on this week's episode of... Android Atlas. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Android Atlas Weekly. We are here joined today with some special guests. We've got Eric Franklin. Hello. Who, who talks about tablets and things all the time. All the time. You can't shut me up. Right. And we also have Lynn La with us. Hello. Hi. She doesn't do much. I don't do anything. <laughs> she doesn't even work here. <laughs> <laughs> we found her on the street, yeah. literally it, living in a box. So. No. You may have seen her on Dialed In. She writes about phones, mobile editor. You know what I'm saying. What's anyway, your, what's your name, Jamar? My name is Jamar Khabibi. Cool. <laughs> I, Are you sure? I don't work here either. <laughs> anyway, so Android Atlas Weekly. Just yes. just to start it off, um, some of you may have heard that uh, CNET Live is coming to an end. Um, so this will effectively be our second to last show, which is some sad news for uh, many of our fans out there, but. Yeah. Uh, we are happy to say that we're moving on to um, focus a little bit more on on-demand content, <clears throat> video content. So, so it's not coming. All of the videos are not coming to an end. Just sort of the live podcast in this format. Yeah, yeah. the 404 will still be around. The 404 will still be around. That's still gonna be. I, I think a daily show. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah, the 404 will still be on Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And also, Reporters Roundtable is going to survive, too. So we'll still be right. doing oh, that really? show, too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yay. That's yeah. good. I like yeah, that show. I like that show, too. Right. And The Daily Show with Conan O'Brien, or with uh, John Stewart, that'll still be on. Yeah. That will still be on. No, uh, but it's gonna actually going to have uh, Conan O'Brien on it now. So that's that's just a big change there. <laughs> right on. Um, I don't know if you guys knew that. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking news from <laughs> Android Atlas Weekly. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Let's jump right into this. Um, we have a new Samsung Galaxy Tab 7 that just came out. Recently. Yeah, yeah, it's a, um, it's the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.7. 7. Is that right? Yes, it is, because it has a 7.7-inch 7 .7 screen. Now, is that different from the previous uh, Samsung Galaxy 7? Was that, was that one? The, the previous one was called the Samsung Galaxy Tab 7.0 Plus. And that was a follow-up to the <laughs> Samsung. Catchy. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> um, it was a follow-up to the Samsung Galaxy Tab, just Tab, which was which had a seven-inch screen. Gotcha. Basically, it just didn't have the seven um, number on there. Yeah. Um, so, what do you think about this new one? It just came out when now? It came out like this. It, it's kind of funny that it it came out the week, the earlier in the week that the iPad was released. So mm -hmm. the iPad was released on a Friday. I think it came out on like, like a Tuesday. Right. You know, it's been released Bad through. Time. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I think it's I think it's kind of weird that like I think we got like two or three uh, tablets in that week that were new. I think like vendors were just waiting for the iPad announcement. It was like, all right, send it out. You know this. You know, just kind of waiting to see what Apple was gonna do with their new tablet before they released their tablet. I think that's something like that went on. Yeah. But anyway, uh, it came out that week. It's uh, it's one of it's the first tablet that I know of mm -hmm. with an AMOLED screen. Yeah. Uh, it has a seven point seven inch uh, AMOLED screen. Uh, Bring it up here. Let's, Let's show it. Let's show it off a little bit. Let's show it off. It's because it's kind of it's kind of cool. AMOLED. Now that means That's, very bright. Yes. Right? Well, <laughs> well, it, not necessarily. What it means is it's uh, what is it? Uh, active matrix uh, organic LED. Yeah. Uh, light emitting diode. Wow. You know from you know that's what the tech heads tell me. That sounds technical. You know the the lab guys in the lab. That's what they tell me <laughs> when I go in there and ask them what's going on. Um. Yeah. It's uh, it's an AMOLED screen. That just means that the the blacks get to true black so mm -hmm. there's no necessary there's no backlight um it's just uh when you when you look at a black screen and when we do our readings on the black screen it gets like the blacks get really really low right. and what that what that offers you is this really high contrast so the so the whites look even brighter even though the brightness isn't nearly as bright as other tablets the whites still look brighter because that black is so low because the contrast is so great it right. just gives you this really poppy color, um, like I said, true black. So movies and games, especially, look really nice on it. Okay, so AMOLED means very, very bright. <laughs> no, Jamar, <laughs> messing okay. things up. How's the battery life on that thing? Just because? Yeah, the, the battery life is actually really good because of that lack of lack of brightness. Oh. Like the, the highest brightness it gets is like 110 candelas per meter square, which is mm. you know I'll give you relative. Like the iPad gets to like maybe 340. Uh, as far as the highest brightness it can it can uh, accomplish, 
but this one like is 110, so the bright, the the battery life doesn't suffer as a result of you know high brightness, hmm. which which is the biggest drain. The screen is the biggest drain on uh, a tablet's battery. Yeah. So that's how do you feel nice. about the the size though? Because I played with the the original Galaxy Tab seven or whatever it was called yeah yeah um and i felt like it was just kind of like a big clunky phone it wasn't a full-on tablet it didn't feel like a tablet right i couldn't do tablety things on it sure wait I mean, wait what are tablet tablet e things well i mean it had like froyo on it i think oh yeah you, you know what i mean well this one comes <laughs> with uh honeycomb excuse me um is there a cough button that yes to have that? it's red oh okay right there where is it right next to your headphone jack oh which is <laughs> below. Oh, let me try that. I'm going to cough. All right. Did anyone hear yeah. that? Does, yeah. that? does that work? Well, I'm in the room with you, so I heard that. <laughs> oh, well, not you. <laughs> um, so wait, what was I saying? I was talking about something. I was talking about Galaxy Tabs. Yeah, the, the size. The, the size, points. yes. Tell us about what you The think. size, it's really thin. It's like the thinnest uh, far, small, small form factor tablet I've ever seen. Uh, it's really well designed. It has this aluminum back. On here, and for me, I prefer 10 inch tablets. But what are you smiling at? I just never seen it. Actually. <laughs> you want to like, look at yeah, it? Yeah, can I? Is yeah. that okay? So, um, for me, I prefer 10 inch tablets, but a 7.7 inch, or you know, you can round up to 8 inch tablet, feels pretty good. It doesn't feel like it's constraining to any tablet y things I would want to do on it. Like, it's pretty good for. For playing some games, like yeah. I played, the, there's a Riptide game on there, and you can play that. You know, it, it uses the accelerometer um, or the gyroscope or whatever, whichever one it is, and uh, it feels right. It feels right. Like I, I, I find it more awkward playing games like those types of games that use the accelerometer or, or gyroscope on a 10 inch iPad or a 10 inch Samsung Galaxy Tab. Seven inches feels more appropriate for that type of stuff. Right. Um, so I mean, there's definitely a market for the 7.7 inch tablet. I think so. I think so. The, the biggest problem with this thing is that it it they they release it through Verizon. So if you want to get it, you have a couple of options. First, you can buy it outright without you can go through Verizon, but not sign up for a two year contract and get it for seven hundred bucks. Oh my god, that's ridiculous for a <laughs> tablet, a, a, a eight inch tablet that has sixteen gigs of storage. That's a ridiculous proposition. That is, that is ridiculous. Um, so you shouldn't do that. I hate that. Yes, you should hate that. Everyone at this table should hate that, yes. including you, Lynn. I hate it especially. Okay, Sorry, good. I was drinking. I could yeah, I could see. She's always drinking, you know? This is kind of a problem. In a probes. Um, or you could buy it for 500 bucks if you sign up for a two-year contract, which I also don't recommend you sign up for a two-year contract with a tablet. These, this market is still in its nascent form, in my opinion, and there's no... You, you don't really know what the tablet market is going to look like in a year, and you might be stuck with this thing a year from now. I mean, it's a good tablet, but who knows what else is going to be out there a year from now. So right. I don't recommend signing up for a two-year contract. But if you have to sign up, you're like, I really want 4G. It has 4G, uh, Verizon 4G LTE on it. If you're like, I really want the 4G LTE, I don't mind signing up for a two-year contract. This would be the one tablet I would be like, oh, okay, go for it. You know. So, so bottom line? It's a it's a great tablet. It's got a super bright screen, like you <laughs> Keep said. Saying that you're it lying is, to our readers. <laughs> it is it is not of a super bright screen, but it has an AMOLED screen, yeah. which means very sharp and very high quality images. Yes. Um, but it is very expensive. It is very expensive. Right. So know that okay. going in. Anyway, speaking of tablets, um... <laughs> beautiful segue there. That's good. Are we actually going to the tablets? Speaking of tablets, um, there are some rumors out there about a possible launch of the. Google Nexus tablet, which would be, you know, Google's vanilla Android tablet. Sure. People are saying that it's going to come out at Google I.O., which it, is in June. Okay. Google I.O. is a <clears throat> developer's conference for, for developers. Google developers? Google developers. People who like to Google. Right, develop. right. So, so tickets went on sale yesterday, and, and they sold out in 30 minutes. Wow. Which is, I think, a new record as far as Google I.O.s go. Huh. But um, a lot of people are saying that it sold out so fast because... They believe these tablets will be given away yeah. for free <laughs> to people that go to that. Do you know how much the tickets are to get in? I think there's something like 900 bucks. So but... you're buying, basically, you're buying the tablet for well, 900 bucks. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, a lot of people that go there, you know, their their entrance is it's sponsored by their, their workplace. You right. Know, their, 
It's, right. it's completely sure. paid for. You know, yeah. we we've, we had some people go there last year. They That's true. they came back with the Chromebooks. They got and some people came out with the Galaxy Tab 10.1. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So so this one's. I mean, people are saying that the Galaxy Nexus is going to come out of there, and you know, I I th- I think I agree with that. I think it's going to come. But what um, what do, like what are you what are you pointing to like that that's convincing you that it's actually going to be there? Well. Just basically what happened last year and then sort of the rumblings in the industry about rumors going around. Yeah, about a Galaxy Nexus tablet coming out. I mean, have you heard anything about a Galaxy Nexus? I've only heard rumors like you. Uh, I heard that the Asus, Asus Nemo, that Mm -hmm. was like our best of CES tablet uh, this year that uses a Tegra 3 processor is supposed to come out for about 250 bucks. I heard that Google saw that, saw that that tablet's coming out then went to asus and was like hey why don't we turn this into the uh galaxy uh or the was it the, the nexus the google nexus and bring it out for about 200 bucks yeah so yeah I that's the I rumor that i've heard that yeah. would be cool if we can get a seven inch ice cream sandwich tiger three or better tablet out there for 200 bucks that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Or, or I think it was like 150 to 200 bucks. So if, if, if it's even lower, that's even better. Yeah. I mean, I'm just excited about like a vanilla Android, something that, you know, Samsung doesn't slap its own, its own UI over. Right. I, I'm, I'm excited about that possibly. Coming slapping out. things. <clears throat> but yeah, like you say, an ICS tablet would be pretty cool. But what might be even cooler is a jelly bean tablet. Oh man. Segway. <laughs> Seg- Segway Charlie over here. Getting better at the you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was you're good. way better. It's my than me. second Segway ever <laughs> in life, and it was pretty good. Awesome. Anyway, <laughs> Jelly Bean. People are saying that it might actually be- come preloaded with Jelly Bean. And Jelly Bean is the latest version, or the Jelly Bean proposed... is the rumored version of Android after Ice Cream Sandwich. So 5.0, I guess. H I J. Yep. Yeah. Android 5.0. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what? What? confuses me about this is that very few devices have ice cream sandwich on them now and now we're already talking about jelly bean which may come out in june at google right, io right. i mean how many phones are running ics right now yeah glenn like natively how many phones are you, have you I encountered one. i think it's just the galaxy one, just one. phone <laughs> yeah and so, like, <laughs> so and when is, i said not very many that was an understatement yeah and we're heading to April now, and they're saying third quarter maybe for this thing. Yeah, and I mean, how many That's tablets ridiculous. are running? I think ICS. maybe yeah. two. Maybe two. Yeah, two or three maybe. I don't. So know. three devices are running ICS, and then Google <laughs> On to goes the next like. One for Jelly yeah. Bean. You do you think, Lynn, Do you feel like um, uh, ice cream sandwich has been a failure for Google? I mean, do you do you use it a lot? Do you compare it to what was it? I guess was uh, gingerbread, gingerbread was before. Gingerbread. I think they're only. I think my only concern is that they just need more ice cream sandwich, native ice cream sandwich devices and more updates. I mean, I don't want to steal your segue, but the next thing I was going to talk about was that AT&T just announced um, other devices getting ice cream sandwich, and it's about six or seven or plus, and everyone's really excited, but it's also kind of like why... Um, I know when you develop um, UIs, you have to kind of develop them months along, so it's not surprising sure. that Jelly Bean is being... Oh, yeah. yeah they're always thinking just, ahead. I'm sure they're thinking like two or three yeah. versions ahead. But there's such a demand. Yeah. Like, all these readers are saying, we want ice cream sandwich phones, and we want ice cream sandwich updates, and no one's... No one's yeah, I mean, it. totally, Google should be thinking about and working on Jelly Bean. Totally. Right. But I don't think they should be necessarily giving it to us in June when they haven't given us, you know, very many ICS updates. But, but you did say that AT&T will be updating... Yeah, there's going to be a lot. It's like Would you say a slew? A slew. A a slew of (laughs) devices. Or your word, a crap load. A crap load of devices, everybody. (laughs) But there's going to be a a slew of AT&T phones that um, will come in the next few months. And everyone's kind of excited but also skeptical. Because one reader was like, I'll see it. I'll I'll know it when I see it or something like that. What does that mean? I don't know. I guess he wants to see some phones get some ice cream sandwich out in here. Oh, Oh, he'll believe it when he sees it? Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 sorry. (laughs) So yeah, it's phones like LG Nitro, Pantech Burst, Pantech Element, and then there's also the Samsung Galaxy Tab, so that will be another tab that will have ice cream sandwich. Yep. And there's like the Galaxy S2 Skyrocket and the Galaxy Note. Also. Well, yeah, I mean, most of the tablet vendors have, or yeah, tablet vendors have been saying that they're going to upgrade to ice cream sandwich at some point, like this summer. So yeah. maybe before uh, Jelly Bean comes out, we'll see. So like early June. Up to ten devices up to 10 <laughs> with ice, i don't know like i don't know it, it, yeah it just doesn't seem like that's that large of a window to get that in there but 
I mean, if if they feel like Ice Cream Sandwich is a failure for them and they really want to move on to five because, mm-hmm. man, it's really cool, then do it. Yeah, but I don't know? think it's a failure. I like Ice Cream Sandwich. I, I like the way it pretty. feels. Yeah, it's yeah. very, very sexy. Which is what really matters, yes. the sexiness and prettiness. Right. No, anything. it's user experience that matters, you, which translates into prettiness. Right. Right. I agree. <laughs> so when you're, when you're dating someone... It's What's all the user about... experience on her face? Yes, yeah. exactly. That's yeah. what you're. That's what you're asking. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but I like her... where this is going. <laughs> by the way, yeah, what <laughs> we're going to talk about? We're going to three I dimensions. Say, I was going to say something, but I speaking of rough I, segues, J Bar, can you take us to three D? <laughs> um, oh, speaking of dating, <laughs> speaking of dating, LG and Samsung <laughs> are not dating, but they're both talking what? about. 3D devices. And I just wanted to get your guys' take. I mean, we don't have to talk about this exhaustively, but LG and Samsung, basically, they're both saying that they believe in the 3D format on phones or on mobile devices, you know, whether that be through like a lenticular lens, which kind of refracts the light. I don't know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> refract, <laughs> refract. Did you just Look, don't no, try no, to impress not. anyone here. Not. We all know you, j Mark. You know, whether that be through, you know, a special lens or some other back-end technology, they are doubling, I don't want to say doubling down because that is kind of a big term to be thrown around, but they definitely believe in it and they say they're, they're going to continue to develop 3D devices in the future. Yeah. Have you used a 3D tablet? Are there 3D tablets? There aren't any tablets with 3D screens. There is one tablet, the LG T-Mobile G Slate, that mm-hmm. has a 3D camera, 3D camera mm-hmm. that uses, you know, the kind of the old, uh, I forgot the name of the term, but the, the old red and blue yeah. glasses, whatever. Captain EO style. Yeah, exactly. The old 80 style uh, 3D. And it wasn't very good as far as the 3D goes. Did anybody purchase that tablet? Um, also, no. No Very one, few no to one, zero. no People one purchased that tablet. Purchased that tablet. I don't think it. I, I, I haven't seen an LG tablet since then. I don't think. No, yeah. I'm thinking about it. Yeah, so I don't yeah, think it was very. I, I mean, I know there's like the HTC Evo 3D. When that came out, you know, a lot of people were kind of buzzing about it, and then, but you know, after that first kind of, uh, you know, initial buzz, I, I, I didn't really hear much about it, and just. 3D phones in general, I haven't really heard much about it. So th- it's interesting to me to hear that LG and Samsung really believe in it, and they. Yeah, so, yeah. That, sorry, there are um, at Mobile World Congress. There was a LG really um, announced, not announced, but um, Kent. I got, I forgot who, but he got his hands on um, a 3D phone. It was the LG Optimus 3D Max, and he said it was pretty cool. Yeah. So I guess, and it's LG. So I guess. Do you believe in the 3D on the phones? I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical. Do you trust uh, kind of Kent's word on things? Yes. I think, that, I think you better say, say yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's watching. He's All always right. watching. On that note, Kent is peering through the window. No, he's not. But, <laughs> but uh, we are going to take a quick break for advertisers to do their thing. All right. Maybe. <laughs> we'll be right back. Android Atlas. Hello, we are back. Hi, how are you? Hey, Eric. Hey, how are you doing? Good. How, how you doing, Lynn? I'm good. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Lynn gets creeps out. She's, she gets creeped out by that voice. So, so next up on our next up on our list of news, <laughs> we've got. However, if you would have heard the stuff Lynn was talking about before the show, oh my god, you would not think of her in the same way. Anyway, so next up. Bluestacks. Have you heard of Bluestacks? I don't know what that is. What is okay. that thing? Let me explain that it thing? to you. Educate Let us. me explain it to you. Bluestacks is virtualization software. That is a very long word, hard to say. Virtualization software for Windows. Why are we talking about that on know. the Android Atlas podcast? <laughs> Why are we talking about that We're at all? We're not talking about it. You're talking about it. <laughs> Why am I talking about it? Because, <laughs> Why are you talking about this? because it allows you to play Android apps on your Windows computer. Okay. Right? I don't know if any of you have heard, but Windows 8 is kind of out in beta yeah um it's the real one is coming out soon and it includes like a metro touch interface and so um yeah this software will allow you to play your um your android apps on there it's it comes with like some patent pending technology that you know optimizes that software for the hardware in your computer it's called layer cake 
Um, some hardware graphics acceleration um, was shown in last year's alpha version. Now it's in beta, and anyone can download it. Yeah, I, can't you already do that through Chrome, the Chrome browser? Like, play Android games? Or maybe it's yeah. just certain Android yeah, games. Yeah, well, I mean, certain certain apps have been developed for the Chrome, okay, the gotcha. Chrome market, the, I, right. I guess it was. Right, which right, is kind of right. weird, because that's just another fragmented yeah. part of... I see what you're saying. This is uh, th <clears throat> These aren't right. necessarily developed for the Chrome browser or yeah, Windows. They're not these developed are, for... Yeah, they're just developed for Android. You can take an actual Android app yeah. and just play it in there. You can... You can play the games. You can, you know, use Evernote, things like that. Evernote, would you, would you ever, my favorite app. Would you ever use this? Uh, uh, no, no, I wouldn't. On your Windows computer? <laughs> no, because I don't play any Android apps or <laughs> Android games ever. You don't Note. play any no. Android apps. Um, only when I'm testing tablets. I mean, I don't go home and and let me throw mm -hmm. on some Riptide. Right. You know. What about Instagram? Mm -hmm. I use Instagram on my Android phone, which I don't have because it doesn't exist. No, I use Instagram. <laughs> no, I use Instagram. For a, sec for a second, I was like, dude, Wait a minute. Why did you, how did you do that? Where did you get who that? Do you, who do you know? <laughs> that I don't. Yeah, yeah I, use, I use Instagram, of course. Yeah, I don't use Instagram. That's because I'm a dedicated Android user. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the show's ending, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> who uses Instagram in this room, though? You. Yes. I do. I do. You do? Everyone else. What kind of an Instagram user are you, though? Are, are you like a heavy... Instagram user, you just kind of... I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to, you know, fall into the stereotype of the adolescent girl who thinks that she's a photographer just because she Wait. Instagrammed, like, a picture of railroad tracks. You're an adolescent girl? <laughs> yeah, but... I think you should probably um, tell Kent this. But um, I like to do it when I don't have, like, my um, DSLR and I'm out on vacation. I just want to pretty up my phones. I so, mean, my pictures, sorry. Tell us why it's nice because, it's, you <clears throat> know, there's another story that is coming to Android very soon. Again... Last week we talked about it coming soon, but now it is imminent. It has it has changed levels to imminent because because <laughs> they opened up a, a sign up page. Level is red. Sign up page. They opened up a sign up page. I signed up for it. I did not get it yet, yeah. so I'm I'm no one special apparently. Why why, why do they even have a sign up page for it? I think that's... maybe because it will like crash the server if everyone downloads it. Yeah, why can't? Us. Yeah, that doesn't make any it's sense. Stupid. Angry Birds came out and no one had to sign up for that. Yeah, they yeah. sold 10 million in three days. I don't understand. Just put it out and make people people will download it. Just yeah, like right. no sign up. If you build right. it, people will come. But about Instagram, why why do I care about Instagram? Is the thing. I mean, what does it do that like another camera app doesn't do? You know? Um, I don't. I think there are a couple of like Instagram clones on iOS. I don't know. Well, I remember one thing was like they always compared Instagram with Hipstamatic, and mm -hmm. one thing that they liked more about Instagram was the social networking experience. Oh yeah, um, at there's first there's thing, one which I completely ignore. And then it was okay. free. That's the other thing because Hipstamatic was like ninety nine cents or whatever. And then the other thing is like you get to edit photos post. So in Hipstamatic, you have the the effect of the pretty effect and the all the saturation was happening as you took the picture, which kind of made it hard to gauge. But um, Instagram, like you do it, you take the picture first plainly and then you edit it. And I yeah. think people really like that much. You can do it at your leisure. Plus yeah. like the 30 million plus users, like you said, this, the social The social networking. thing, it's sharing your photos. Yeah, it's a big deal. Making you look like you're okay. cooler you can, than you, you are. You can tweet and Facebook from it too. Yeah. So you can like, you know. Yeah. You can, it's all integrated all right. with all well, these you, other social networks. You sold me. I'm down to try it. It's fun. Totally try it. Yeah. Dude. I've signed up. I'm waiting and to I, get it. And you, you use a lot of third party uh photo editors and stuff like to do your filters and stuff. you know always have what does that mean what do, what do you mean by like that? I, I have other apps that will like put crazy effects on my pictures i don't use the instagram all the time to do that oh so, right right so you don't have to necessarily use the instagram uh um uh, the, effects or right whatever so then once you you know beautify your pictures in another app yeah. you can yeah. then, then you can import it share instagram it and share instagram. yeah some people do that some people even take like really really nice pictures on their um slr and then just take load that somehow onto their phone yeah. and then put it on Instagram because it's also the community there. Yeah. It's really big. Okay. So, I mean, for anyone. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Sorry. Well said. Well said, Lynn. <laughs> the community is really they, I, And they, they signed up with a lot of projects like New York Fashion Week. They signed up specifically with people using Instagram just so that you could find it that way. It, sound, yeah. it sounds it sounds exciting to me. It's okay. it's okay. You don't have to. No, no, no. It sounds exciting to me. I'm just oh, sour cool. because I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your own fault. Yeah, <laughs> but I why. did sign up. So anyone, you know, we we wrote a story up on it. You can actually go to the Instagram for Android site. I'm not sure exactly what the URL is yeah. on that. It's it's like instagram.am/android. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> makes it easy to remember. Right. The girl part. Yeah, and you can sign up to be first in line for Instagram on Android. It's supposedly better than the iOS version, according uh, to... Yeah, one whatever. According to I'll believe it when I see it. Like <laughs> that right. one dude that talks to me. It's going to be better. Very skeptical right. guy. It's going to be yeah. exactly the same. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll be here waiting. One thing I'm not waiting mm-hmm. for, though, Angry Birds Space. Because that just came out. Whoa. Have you guys played it? Whoa. Angry Birds. Segue. Your segues are blowing my mind. <laughs> I know. Mine's better and better. blown. Mine's are being blown. They're very corny. My segues. <laughs> Faces I'm just going to throw that out there. Are being melted. Yeah. My JMR segues. But anyway, I played Angry Birds Space. Have, yeah. you, guys, have you guys heard of Angry Birds? I, so, I'm sorry. I made the assumption that you've heard of Angry Yeah. Birds. So Angry Birds. What is that? So you, that you are some kind of an omniscient being looking upon these birds who are angry at pigs. You what did use the pigs a, do? The pigs stole the eggs of the birds. Oh, no. So you use a gigantic slingshot to sling these birds at the pigs, effectively killing the pigs. So the point is to kill pigs. The point is to kill pigs, yeah. Mm. But everybody knows that. Angry Birds is now in space. Yes. Yes. So I'll take a moment to... It's, it's to let absorb that, let that, that news. set in, like <laughs> because it's a big mold that over for a bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean what what I found I played it on a tablet, which is way better than playing it on a phone because when I do my my slingshotting, I pull it all the way back. Yeah, to he here does. you can't even see my hand anymore. Oh, when he does the slingshotting, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? ladies, yeah. when he does the slingshotting, that's what you I'm have saying. No idea. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking but, about. But <laughs> but yeah, I mean the thing that I found is that it's not as intuitive as as the original yeah. just because i've never been in space right and i don't understand the physics intuitively is right. what i'm saying so what you do you shoot you know you sling up a, a bird at a pig who's on a, a gigantic planet <laughs> this but is that the best planet's, game ever but that planet's gravity then affects the uh oh you the flow space. of your right. pig right right so they have like e- each planet i guess has a different uh, attribute or gravitational attribute or something like that right is that is that, is that what happens because jason showed it to me um yeah a little bit yeah yeah and um, i think the bigger the planet um, it, it might have some stronger right so is it more fun than angry birds is does that dimension add a does that add a, a, a large enough dimension that you should be buying this thing well you know, on android it's, it's free android it's free yeah, uh, yeah, uh well there's a free version there's also an ad free version oh, okay for android phones okay and then there's a there, which which costs money, ninety nine cents, I think, and then there's a two ninety nine version for Android tablets, which right. comes in HD. But honestly, just get the free version if you have a tablet, because it looks exactly the same. Right. Unless you really want to support the de- developers, which is fine. But you shouldn't. Two ninety nine. Don't support them. Don't support them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm confused. <laughs> no, because anyway. they have enough money. Um. Yeah. So space. It's or space. It's. it's well, you asked me a question though. The, the challenge yeah, yeah. was kind of addicting, so that made it a little bit more fun. Because okay. let's be honest, I was just killing it on the original, <laughs> on the original Angry Birds. I was slinging pigs like crazy. You know, a pig could not last five seconds when I'm on the board. You know what I mean? No, I know what you mean. I hear yeah. you. Yeah. Well, you won't know exactly what I mean until you watch me play, and we'll, you know, we'll do that after this. Okay, good. Yeah. I can't wait. I'm about apps, if you haven't noticed. I review, write and review apps. I've noticed that. Yeah. So I actually have an app of the week for this show. All right. Um, even though we just talked about apps. Yeah. Is it your um, app of the week, week uh, Angry Birds? Space? It's not Angry Birds Space. Oh. But it is, an, it is uh, another, almost as popular, not quite as popular, obviously, because Angry Birds is like, you know. Yeah. It's huge. Wow. It's big. But it's uh, Temple Run. Temple Run. Anyone who uses an iPhone or... You know, an iPad, they may have heard of it because it is very popular. Oh, it's like Pitfall from that picture. That's what that picture it's is It's kind of like me. Pitfall. Um, I mean, <laughs> they, say, it's they say it's an Indiana Jones-like character, but let's be honest. He doesn't have a leather jacket. He doesn't have a hat. Yeah, that was He's going nothing too far. like Indiana Jones. <laughs> well, he does, he does have an idol. He's holding he does he have does. an idol in his hand. Is he looks about to throw the idol at that bird, though. That's, That's weird. my friend. <laughs> that, my friend, is a monkey. Oh, is, is that a monkey? evil monkey? Is that like a golden monkey? It's like a monkey? giant that is an evil masked monkey but but i mean if you haven't played temple run if you if you haven't played temple run it's one of those games where your character is always center screen and he just keeps running it's a perpetual runner it's like it's like space harrier yeah yeah Yeah. and and then you you can jump or you can you can lean to the left to the right you can slide um it's it's kind of addicting yeah, you were talking about that early before the show. Yeah, you run into coins, you pick them up, and then after that you can buy things with these coins. Oh, so can you buy 
Can you use real money to buy coins? You can do that. Of course you can. You can do that. I if you're that. if you're a child with your parents' credit card, but if you're <laughs> right. an adult, then you probably won't do that. Yeah, that's ridiculous really that people won't. pay that kind of money for that. Cause I don't know, I don't get it. But th like I was asking you before, this isn't like a real game though. Right? This is like a this is like a you you know you go to the washroom, you know you spend you know ten minutes in there, you play some temple run. Yeah, you leave the washroom. You forget about temper on until you're in the washroom again, right? Like it's that type of game. It's not like it, oh man, the depth is, of this game. Yeah, I mean it's definitely not like a Call and of the Duty. The story, the story of temper <laughs> What is dude? the storyline, Ken? Do you know? I don't. Why is he running so much? Because these evil monkeys are chasing him, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> is that not obvious? Is there an end to the levels? <laughs> Um, I have yet to reach an end to to a level because I am no good at this game, <laughs> but but it's very fun. Sure. Very fun. So I I'm mean, it looks say, like it could be fun. Yeah. Go ahead, like... read about it. Go to cnet.com. Go to download.cnet.com slash eight three zero one dash two. Just go there and find <laughs> what I wrote about it because it's it's a very fun game. Okay. It looks right. kind of fun. And it, it looks was... it looks like graphics are pretty good too like no yeah they're really good Nintendo i mean 64 i think it's actually one of the first <laughs> which is the high runners. watermark for graphics these days <laughs> that everyone wants to be aspired yeah. to yeah i mean what i was going to say is that i think it's one of the first perpetual runners that's actually 3d perspective like this it's pretty cool hmm. yeah. it looks exhausting so it's, well it's, you don't actually do the running lynn you just it looks, hold the... I'm, vic I'm vicariously running through this guy and it's exhausting gotcha. i'm already feel like i just ran 10 miles looking at a little sample gotcha yeah. Lynn's insane. I don't know if you guys know this. <laughs> She's insane. I also don't work out ever. I have a lung capacity of a three-year-old. Yeah. I was going to say something about you being out of shape. and She's out. Thank you for saying it for Can me. Can we put the camera on her? She's very... Uh... 98 pounds of muscle. Wow. <laughs> you need to hit the gym. You need to lose some of that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 98 pounds, too many. Yeah. Well, that's all I got as far as apps of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have another segue? I like that's your segue into nothing. As... Yeah? yeah? No, we do have e an email, though. Okay. Because at this part of the show, I don't know if you've ever watched Android Atlas. No. No. Why would I no, do that? We, never. We don't watch <laughs> your show. I hate you guys, by the way. <laughs> um, but at this part do of the show, we do watch Do you watch Dialed In? I watch it religiously. Oh, thank you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> on to the email. Um, so this one is from Kevin in Melbourne, Australia. Yeah. He says, hi, team. I have finally taken the plunge and switched from an iPhone to a Samsung Galaxy Note. That is a big switch. That is literally a big switch. Yeah. He goes to the Galaxy Note, which is like, what is it, like 700 inches, Lynn? Uh, five point, oh, oh, I used to, I think it's 5.3 or 5.7, I used to know. Five point oh. something, which is pretty much yeah. 700 inches. Yeah. Anyway, like he, he says, with his iPhone, with my iPhone, I can customize which apps can have access to my GPS location. I cannot find this option with my Android 2.3 gingerbread OS. Is this option available? Upon uh, downloading applications from the Google Play Shop, the app will tell me it wants to monitor my, my location, but I cannot deactivate this unless I delete the app. <clears throat> um, there is no option. Well, well, right off the bat, an app, before you download it, it tells you if it needs your GPS location. And if you don't want it to have your GPS location, then you can choose not to download that app. Or you can... Well, after you've downloaded that app, you can turn off all of your GPS capabilities on your phone, but that would obviously debilitate you in a way. Yeah. Um, but I did ask Ant Goo, um, who is one of our experts on rooted phones, and he, he did say, <laughs> Ant Goo, Ant Goo's, you guys don't know Ant Goo? I know Ant Goo. Do you know Ant Goo? Antoine. Antoine Goodwin. Oh, yeah. He does a uh, bow tie Thursday with me. He does, yeah. <laughs> like you too, and that's it. Yeah, it is. It no is. elaboration. <laughs> he he, does says, he said that Thursday. you failed him last week, though. Yeah, yeah, but now we're two for one. So he he for, totally forgot last week, and then I had one. I was like, you know, where's Bowtie Thursday? He's like, today's not Thursday. And How then he's fun like, can that be? It's, it's actually pretty fun. <laughs> but my level of funness is not very good. It's actually pretty fun, guys. <laughs> pretty fun. Let me tell I don't you. know if what we're kind in of, a bow tie on Thursdays. We're kind of crazy kids over here. So. <laughs> Also, can I jump in to know that I know that the Galaxy Note is a 5.3 inch screen? Sorry, okay. I gotta look it up. Briefly. So, so in case you didn't know that, Kevin, your Galaxy Note is 5.3 inches. And back to your question. <laughs> <laughs> back to your question. Um, Antoine did mention that if you have a rooted phone, there are actually apps that you can download which allow you to, you know, deny GPS access piecemeal. You know, like just app by app. Uh, one of them is called Permissions Denied. So you can go check that out. Um, if you have a rooted phone, or if you have a rooted phablet, I should call it, because the Galaxy Note is gigantor. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> and I think that is our last email. That is our last Aww. email from Kevin. I want it more. I wanted you to sit there and read stuff while I look at the internet. Well, that was the only oh. email that I was capable of answering <laughs> <Okay>. intelligently. <laughs> Why is that a prerequisite? That is not true. I am very you. intelligent, people. <laughs> intelligent, I promise. I am very intelligent, people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. So, funny. yeah, that's it. Um, again, this is our second to last show. Tune in next week. We have a very special show for everybody. Eric Franklin will not be there, nor will Lin La. Yeah, so, I hated my time here, so I'm not going to come. So, yeah. yeah. But, um, but I want to thank them just for coming through. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. I they, had fun. They dropped some some mad crazy knowledge. Yeah, I was dropping uh, tablets those knowledges. and phones. Yeah, yeah, totally, man. Thank you guys. We made the show. <laughs> All right, everybody. We're the hardware folks. Android Atlas, Atlas Weekly. You can um, you can follow me on Twitter at jmarkabibi, or oh, uh, you can follow me at uh, that place, Need Opal, N I D O P A L, on Twitters. <laughs> on the Twitters. On the Twitters. Oh, I get one too. It's Lynn Law. Because Lin La was already taken. So Wait, what, how do you pronounce that again? It's uh, Lin La. So Three Lin A's. La and Lin La were already taken. Yeah. And you just tried Lin La. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, there I just goes. entered as many A's as I could. Right. Yeah. That wasn't taken. So and if you guys are interested in, you know, Android phones, she covers Android phones, and Eric covers Android tablets. Yeah. All right. And, of course, you can call. <laughs> You can call 866-344-CNET. That's 866-344-2638 to leave us a voicemail. But next week's our last show. Oh, you should sing all the things you say. Hmm? You should sing all the things you say. Maybe you should sing that. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You were like, you should leave us a voicemail. You did that. Mm. See, you do it again. Anyway. <laughs> Put me on the spot. Android Atlas on the spot. J Mark BB, go ahead <laughs> with Steve your Beecham. song. Steve right. Meacham, everybody. All right. See you guys. Bye. Thank you for watching. Android Atlas.